Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video. It is a true Try It Tuesday, which means I've got something new here, never used it before, and we're gonna try it. Uh, we're gonna do it together. <laughs> Hopefully, I, I always have such high hopes that these things are gonna perform, so here we go, fingers crossed. What this is, is an eyeliner set by a company called Kiate, I think, Kiate London. And it is designed specifically for those of us looking to create that cat eye but that don't have the skills. I do not have the skills. I cannot tell you how long I have been trying to perfect the cat eye and I think it gets harder with age because I have all the droopiness and you know where you think you should be drawing that line. It's not reality anymore when you get to be my age. It just isn't. So if you put a traditional line where you think it should go, it just is a big old fat mess. What this is, is it contains two things and one is a double-ended stamp and one designed for each eye. There's a right and a left took me a little while to figure that out. I'm like, why are there two sides? They look like they're the same. They are not. So essentially the idea is that you put the stamp right there and that should create that perfect little winged edge. And then you follow up with a regular tipped eyeliner and then you draw that along the lash line to connect everything up. It sounds genius. And if this works, I'm gonna do a little happy dance, okay? So we're gonna try it right now. This could be an absolute disaster because even though I've been taking a makeup class and I'm trying to perfect my skills, the winged eyeliner just isn't one of them. There is, hasn't been enough information for people of my age group with hooded eyes. And I spent a lot of time on YouTube trying to find the solution and so far it's not really worked out. Each end of this has a tiny bit of a different direction. So I think it's just supposed to work with the curvature of our eyes. So we're gonna try it. We're actually gonna start on the right side because hopefully you can see it better. Okay, so I'm gonna, from what I think is happening is that this is supposed to sort of straddle here between the up and the lower. I think, I don't know, let's just see. We're gonna go in here with the little stamp and see what happens. See, <laughs> that's kind of the problem, is all my little wrinkles and things. Now maybe I was too far away. Maybe I was too far away. Let's see how easy it is to take it off. So of course we always have to account for user error <laughs> because that's usually the case when it comes to these kind of products. So I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna try it again. What I might do is go over to the left side while that is drying. Now we're gonna try it over here. It could be that I wasn't close enough to the edge. Like when I look at the instructions online, I can't really tell because it doesn't look like the shape of the stamp, but we're gonna try again. So I'm gonna go there. I mean, you can see something, but what you don't see is the little tail, right? I wonder if I go to the side, if that makes it any better. Sort of. My problem is my little hoodie number. Well, that's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. We'll see if I can follow the line on the other end when we're done. So we're gonna go back to the other side and see if we can create the same thing. Maybe I need it to go less this way and more to the side because of all my hooded situation. So let's try that. If we go a little bit more to the side, what happens? That's better. Isn't it? It's a tiny little wing. This is where my inabilities are going to present themselves. Let's see if we can create a line that will match up with it over there. So we can create some symmetry. Well, sugar, that's not bad, is it? I probably need to make this line thicker. Okay, well, this is gonna be my one complaint is that I would prefer a brown. So, Kiati, if you're looking, gosh, that's pretty darn good. What do you think of that? I have to have a little chat with my daughter. My daughter is the queen of the cat eye. You know, she's 20, almost 21 and far more skilled. She comes down the stairs, I'm like, how did you do that? How did you do that? Do mine. She's like, I can't do yours. Okay, that line's a lot thicker than I want it to be. Sugar. Oh yeah, user error. That's not the part of the, that's not the fault of the stamp, that's me. Oh, for heaven's sakes, Mary. <laughs> I think that mirror is too far away. I don't use these kind of liquid pencil pens very often either, nor do I have a steady hand.
but do I think we're on to something? I mean, obviously, if I did a little bit better job there making the line, but I mean, it's pretty good. Now, they're not quite even. This one's flipping out more than this one, but I think if you spent a little time on it, I think, look at that. Well, it's 100% better than I could have done on my own. Let me tell you that. I do think there might be some tweaking with how close it is and how and how much it's turned up or down because I can't go up. There's just no up. There's too much hoodie things going on. But if I can figure out a way to go more to the side, I think that's great. Are you as enthusiastic as I am, Gary? <laughs> <laughs> He's sleeping behind the camera right now. <laughs> um, holy cow! I think that is pretty darn good, and I do not see a black option on their website. I am going to be reaching out and ask, please add, sorry, I don't see a brown, and I think a brown or navy, hello, navy, would be gorgeous. Okay, so obviously I need to do some work on that, but I think this is great. The same way that the Trio brow stamp has been a real game changer for me in the brows, this could be a game changer for me on a night out, I think. Not something I'd be wearing every day. It's a bit too heavy, but gosh, if I wanted that nice little eye for a Friday night, I think this is the one. Gosh, that's great. I love it when a Try It Tuesday works out. So have you guys heard of this? Have you heard of any of these kind of things? Because I think I need to do a little bit more digging around. I think that's great. But now I'm on the hunt for a brown or a navy because I think black is just too harsh for me in my hair color. But guys, I think... That is cool, and it retails for 17 pounds. It comes from the UK, um, 17 pounds. That's pretty good. I'm digging it. What do you think? Anyway, I'd love to hear from you, so put your, your thoughts and your comments down below. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thanks so much for joining. If you like the look of the video, I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up, and I look forward to seeing you at the next one. Bye. Lorraine is a problem or not? <laughs> <laughs>